this is Nerd Nong. How the heck are you? Okay, that's frightening, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to try something a little different. Uh, instead of uh, computer tips or just a weird blab itch, um, I'm going to try this tonight. Uh, I'm going to try a uh, personal vlog um, just because, you know, you know, you, for those of you that have watched my videos before, you know I'm Nerd Nong. Okay? And that. That's my nickname, of course. That's not my real name. Uh, but uh, you don't really know much well, about ner me as a, as a nerd and long. Um, there's not a lot about me, really. But uh, I'm kind of a boring... Well, as you probably already know, I'm a boring person. Uh, but uh, let's see. Um, I was uh, born with club feet. Um... Uh, for those of you that do not know what that is, basically means your feet, instead of straight like they normally are, they are curved in like this, sideways. And your feet even go sideways as well, too, possibly. Uh, and uh, a couple of years ago, I actually got a brace on my left foot. Well, actually, it goes all halfway up my leg, almost to my knee. Um, back to, I'm not wearing it right now, but yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, frightening, isn't it? Just wear it when you wear shoes. Um, most people don't even know I'm ever wearing it. Why? Because I'm wearing long pants most of the time where it's covered up. Occasionally I'll wear shorts, but uh, normally you won't see it. But, yeah, you only wear it when I wear shoes because it's got a uh, slick surface at the bottom of it. It's a hard surface. See? Um, so it's a no-no walking with that on the floor without it being in something else. Uh, but yeah, I had to have surgery when I was born on both feet. It was not cheap. And so I'm able to walk and stand and do other random things that I otherwise would not have been able to do. Uh, it comes an advantage that, you know, to have that, uh, to have uh, that issue. But... <laughs> You know. Anyway, so yes, I have a club feet. Uh, one of my that left foot does hook is hooking back in somewhat. That's why I had to have that brace. People are trying to tell me to get a brace for the other side, but I don't really see the reason to doing that right now. Um, and then when I get into my uh, well, when I get a little older, um, I will probably have to have what's called a bone fusion, which sounds bad, and supposedly it is a not a fun little procedure to do, but I don't have to worry about that for now. Um, let's see. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, without giving everything away. Let's see. When I was... Uh, or I've... Uh, in the, about two years ago, I lost about uh, 70 pounds. I used to be overweight slash obese most of my life. Uh, when I was a young kid, I was awfully skinny, uh, but uh, probably about the age of seven or so, I put on some weight, and I never really lost any weight until two years ago. So I didn't ha I didn't really have much of a choice. It was uh, um, some health concerns, and that I needed to do that. Blood pressure was very high and had to take medications for a brief period of time, except for within the first two months of starting this uh, shebang, I lost 20 pounds. So I was with the way I was going, they went ahead and took me off the medications. I haven't needed it since. But I was having headaches and all that other garbage. So anyway, yeah, there's that. Um, basically what I did uh, was for... I drink a lot of pop or some of you might refer to as soda um, what I've done is I've switched to diet now diet is not exactly good for you either uh, but for me that's what seemed to have, to have done has done most of it now, of course I move around a little bit more than I used to I don't move around a lot but I move around a little more than I used to I take the stairs instead of the elevators you know things like that Sometimes I'll have, instead of two hamburgers, I'll have one. I'm a little more careful in what I eat, but I still splurge probably more than I should. 
Uh, but yeah, I'd switch to diet pop. And I think that was the killer because I'd have two or three cans of regular pop a day. So all that sugar, which I do like sugar, and, uh, you know, that's, you know, let's just say 150, 200 calories per can of pop. So, you know, anywhere from 450 to 600 extra calories a day that I'm not having anymore most of the time. Once in a while, I'll still have a regular pop, but not very often. So, yeah, there's that. Um, let's see. Uh, what else? Oh, you probably already know my relationship status if you've watched my, uh, uh, I think it was like tip 40 or tip 41 about single life and drinking and all that garbage. I'm not going to get into that again because that's what it is. Like I've said before, like I said in that video, um, I am single. I think I probably will stay that way. I'm not closed to the idea of being in a relationship, but I don't think, I don't see where that would work for me. So maybe it would. I just don't see where it would. I'm not going to get into all that again, because that I already discussed before. Um, let's see. Um, what else? Um, well, as you know, since I am nerding along, I'm into computers. But where that all came about, let's see. Well, we got our first computer in 1999. It was a compact Presario or Presario, whichever you prefer, 5304. Yes, that was the bottom of the line at the time. But it was our first computer. Before then, I didn't even really know how to turn one on, believe it or not. Um, uh, let's see. But since it was the bottom of the line computer, even with our lower at the time expertise on computers, we click quickly got into. CD burners and picture editing and that and within two years time that computer was just not up to snuff enough for what we needed to use it for so a so someone that my dad works with needless to say built us a new computer and I already in that short brief period of time I always get an interest in computer like stuff I'd like playing on them doing stuff like making mock-up images on Microsoft Paint and things like that. I don't know why. I make pretend operating system stuff. But anyway, uh, so anyway, I would uh, I, I got interested in that way. But then when that, that person built that computer, I don't know what it was, but just seeing all those parts and all these boxes and stuff and then coming back later and seeing that it's a built and up and working and it's a real live computer. Something about it intrigued me. I don't know what about it intrigues me exactly, but something about it really intrigued me. And within a few months time I was learning how to build them. In fact, I even picked up a book and I spent an entire day reading the book. I'm not normally the kind of person that likes to sit and read stuff a lot. But I picked up that book and I read that book from start to finish and I probably didn't probably put that book down that whole day. And then the following day, I actually that compact we had that was taken apart to take some spare parts out of it. So I actually toyed with it and tried rebuilding it. And that it had one problem, but I got it figured out and got it up and running. Um, but a couple months later, I built my first own computer from scratch. So. And that was in 2002. So from 1999, not even, and this was in late 1999. This was like September of 1999 when we got it. Um, so I didn't even know how to turn a computer on or hardly how to get on the internet. Of course, back then it was dial up, fun, fun. Um, the screechy dialing noises and that. But anyway, uh, from going from 1999, not even really knowing how to turn on a computer to within three years building them that's quite a big leap um, and then of course it's even gone further since then I do have an AOS degree in computer technology that doesn't necessarily mean I know everything there is about computers because I clearly don't and I'll be blunt with you telling you that there's no one on this planet that knows every single thing about a computer uh, so that's why I always say in my videos I'm just Jojo the monkey boy so let's see, um, what other, so we know one of my hobbies is uh, computers, of course. My other hobbies probably would be uh, 
going up to the lake. Uh, the lake's called Lost Island Lake. Um, it's in the Midwest. Uh, I like going up there. A lot of family up there. Uh, since it's a private trailer park, drive around golf cart, have fun with that, do donuts, whatever, or just drive around in general. Sometimes that's all I do. Uh, playing cards, bonfires, occasional boat rides. Of course, we didn't even get the boat to run last year, so that didn't happen. Uh, fishing went sometimes. Uh, past year or so, I haven't fished. It just depends on my mood of the year. I don't know if I'm going to this year or not either. Uh, but I do know how to fish. Frightening, isn't it? Let's see. But, you know, really that's the <laughs> extent of it. You know? Uh, let's see, as far as uh, school and stuff like that, I was not, I did not enjoy school. I, I, I didn't mind college. Well, it, college, I'll call it. It was more of a technical college, but, but like high school, middle school, and that stuff, I hated it. I dreaded it. I was not the kind of person that liked to talk very much in school. I was afraid to do it. I was shy and all that garbage and wasn't very comfortable. Uh, with that being said, I was also bullied a lot. Um, so with that being said, also, um, I don't have, I don't think very highly at all of bullies or trolls, which I discussed yesterday. I don't like that kind of people. Those kind of people need to get lost. And they really need a big slap in the face. Um, so, you know, a lot of people probably thought I was just a rude snot in school and that, but it was really, I was just afraid to talk, you know, um, so that being said, you know, and I've said this before as well, so a lot of the stuff, stuff people already know. But uh, I'm not a huge city person. I've lived in the city and in this home my whole life. Um, but since I've got a lot of bad memories with things around the city and that, and it's just the crowds and stuff, crowds and places where lots of people gather, I'm just not comfortable with. That's just how I am, or I will be. So, and if you think that's weird, well, it probably is, but that's how it is. So, a smaller environment is where I really would like to see myself. Um, I don't know, probably not that far away from the city. Could be, but I don't anticipate that, and I'm not planning on that yet, so... I don't know, but that that's where it is, um, and that, I mean, that wouldn't be for several years anyway, let's see, um, as far as what I like to spend money on, um, let's see, well, by looking around here, um, you know, there's the beast that you normally see in the background, which I'm recording this with, and uh, there's ugly. Um, <laughs> there's my Toshiba laptop, my MacBook, my Samsung TV. It's 32 inch, which I've had for a year and a half. You know, what, what's funny though is, you know, you probably cannot see from here. Well, of course we, um, but you can't see from there probably too well, but um, s below my TV, my TV is sitting on a VCR. Yes, VCR. Here we are, 2011, and that's what I've got, a VCR. I'm not, I don't watch movies very much, obviously, so, it's just, I, I, I'm just not a huge movie person, I, 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 there's a few maybe I've watched in my lifetime, but I don't know, I just, I normally don't have the patience to sit down and watch a movie, you know, and drama and stuff like that, I just, I'm not into it that well, um, so anyway, yes, where I spend bulk of my money for fun anyway is on computer stuff. Otherwise, I am pretty tight with my money. And if you've seen, again, if you've seen my being single video, you, you know, you'll quickly probably pick, figure that out. Um, I mean, I, I'm so tight with my money that I won't buy a new pair of pants where the bottoms of the legs are fraying. 
or you know, like this shirt here, the collar is just annoying because it just pops up, it doesn't sit down like it's supposed to, it never has. It was like a dollar special at a, at a Goodwill-like store, and so that's that's it. I mean, when I buy clothes, it's normally from places like Goodwill, because I'm too cheap to spend money on better, quote-unquote, better clothes. That's just, I, I, I'm not a fan of clothes. Of course, you have to wear it, and I wouldn't want to be caught dead without clothes, but, uh, Oh, I would not want, I, 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 I'm not comfortable with that either. Uh, so, obviously, here I am wearing a shirt, which is good. This sounds really awkward. So I will move on from that topic. Um, I am an animal lover. I do like animals a lot. Um, I, my favorite animal by far, though, would be a cat. I like cats. We've had dogs in the past. I like dogs and that, but you know, cats, they don't go all the time. So, and they don't pee on your stuff, you know, or poop on your stuff. Granted, cats do that occasionally too when their litter box is full or they're mad at you or something, or they're not comfortable with going to the litter box because some other cats want to beat them up. Um, but, you know, in general, I, I, cats I just like more, and the cat I have now is, well, we've got, there's three cats in this house, but the one that's been attached to me, I, I've been attached to, is probably the animal I've been most attached to. I'll admit it, everybody already knows it, but I'll admit I'm attached to that cat, and when we first got that cat, I resisted having him, because I was like, we don't need a second cat. One was enough, but we got two. Now we have three, but... Lo and behold, that second cat that I resisted the most of the three of them turns out to be my, my baby, my child, and he follows me a lot. Although he's not in here right now, but you've seen him in a lot of my videos, the striped one. You've probably seen all three of them. You've seen the black cat, you've seen the calico cat, and then him, the big guy. But, yeah, I, I'm a, I am an animal person uh, for the most part. Um, there's a couple specific breeds of animals and things like that I don't like. I'm not going to start those hot debates. Um, let's see. My favorite uh, color is blue, if it really matters to you. Um, my favorite food is, well, any food that's not healthy for you, basically. Well, I mean, most of us all are like that. We prefer to eat food that's not good for you. It's the best food. However, I'll probably pay for that later. Especially all the sugar I consume, which that's going to probably become a problem as well. But anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, I think 18 minutes for a vlog, I mean, that's probably awfully long, but it is my first one. I may do more in the future. And I might actually... Uh, post a, an actual blog as opposed to a vlog. Uh, vlog being video blog and blog being a blog. So, so yes, I'm going to probably create an actual blog where I will do stuff and bring updates. Now, I don't want to need to give you every single detail of my life. If you want every single detail of my life, you'd probably be my friend or something like that. Maybe not even then. You'll know everything. You probably won't. But there's not really a lot to know about me. I'm just a nerd who sits in the chair and makes noises. So. But like I said, I'm the kind of, I am the kind of person where I am out of the house and out, out in an environment I'm not used to. I'm pretty quiet. I don't. I'm. Uh, it's. I'm not comfortable with that kind of stuff. So normally, if I'm around the same kind of group over and over and over again, over time, I warm up and I start becoming a little more talkative. And eventually, it's to the point where I don't want to shut up. Okay. Well, well maybe not quite that far, because I don't sometimes have a lot to talk about. But you know, that's how it goes. So. I think I have rambled on long enough. I think I've given you enough to start with. Um, 
I don't want to give out too much information uh, for obvious reasons, but uh, this is Nerd and Mom, okay? Um, who sits in this chair a lot of times. But during the summer, I do go up to the lake a lot. And that's really enjoyable, and I want to continue doing that. Um, albeit if it's by myself or with a lot of people. So, anyway, this is Nerd Nong, and I approve this vlog slash blog, and I may continue to do some more, and then you'll know who actually is the nerd that's doing these uh, rants and blabbages and tips. So I may start a blog. I will let you know if I actually start an actual text-like blog as opposed to video blog. So anyway, before this keeps going on any longer, bye-bye.